Hey all you CBers and YouTubers, we're going to make a video on how to build a uh, CB radio receiving crystal radio. Okay, uh, here's here's some parts of list. Here's a list of parts you're going to need for the new uh, for your CB radio crystal set. Is a piece of two by four. Doesn't matter what size it is. Uh, this one's about uh, about seven inches, six six and a half, seven inches one wide, and it'll do the job for what we need it for. And and we got tuning capacitors. These are the tuning capacitors here. There's two of them. This one here is a common one. These are ones in the. This one here is like in a. It's quite common. They're using like a transistor radios uh, from the 1960s up to probably the present day. They got modern versions of them too. And we got this one here. It's a more old school style. It's like. A, this one was ordered off the internet. Uh, I can't remember which uh, site it was, but uh, they're they're quite common. You can get these off the internet, and this is the one we're going to use for the project here. This is what it's going to be uh, have the coils mounted onto, and and an Altoids container, and last but not least is the uh, phone jack for to plug the amplifier into and this will also be connected in with this Altoids container from the inside and uh, this jack will be mounted as so and last but not least probably the most important part of any crystal radio is this thing it is the germanium ion 3 4 diode and uh, inside this little thing is a little germanium crystal and that's going to give you the sound to make this thing operate. Okay, this is um, this is 16 gauge household uh, wire that's used in house wiring and stuff. And I'm going to use these to make the coils. And I'm going to took about uh, I'm going to use about three turns on each one. And uh, this one, this white one here, will be the uh, the main coil. And this will be the ground antenna coupling coil. Okay, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use this battery, this uh, this D-size battery, to uh, wind the coil. So we're going to do about three turns on it. it. Goes one, two, three turns, like this. And I'm going to be doing the same on the other on the with the black wire as well. Okay, and then this is the black wire. Go one, two. And three turns. Okay, we're gonna clip this off here. Okay, now we're gonna cut the we're gonna cut off the uh, the, the 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 plastic covering. Okay, here we have this is the main tuning coil, and this will be going onto this uh, this tuning cap here, and. Uh, this part here will go onto the ground. This will be soldered to the ground, and this end here will be soldered onto the positive end on the uh, the plate terminal right here. Okay, this is the antenna coil. We're gonna we're gonna make a cut right here, like so, and we're gonna be uh, peel the wires off like this. Okay, this is the uh, this is the antenna coil. And this here is the tuning coil. Okay, we're gonna put these two. We're gonna put. We're gonna put these two together here. We're gonna. We're gonna put them in between like this. And these two wires will be. Uh, will be twisted together, and I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah, and try and get these coils so that they're as close together as possible, like close like this here. This one, it should work. Okay, I'm going to put a little piece of uh, electrician's tape around the end here to hold these the black and white wires together. Okay, here's all here's all our parts that we got here. This is the Altoids one. It's got a hole drilled for the uh, 
for the for the for the plug-in phone jack and these holes here for the screws to mount onto the 2x4 and back here there's why there's two holes for the wires one's for the uh, the ground wire and the other one's for the positive wire that hooks up onto the diode inside the phone jack and this is the fully assembled a coil Okay, this is the fully assembled coil, and we're going to add these wires onto it. This one's the uh, the ground wire. This will hook up onto the uh, the Altoids uh, box. And this end will be the positive end, and that will also go onto the Altoids box as well. Okay, on the tuning capacitor. We gotta sand this little part here. We're gonna have to add a little bit of solder onto the end of this, to the top end of this piece. Okay, here's the coil. Here's the uh, fully assembled coil and the tuning capacitor. This is uh, hooked up onto. This is soldered onto the uh, negative ground, and this is the black negative wire that goes into the, inside the uh, or hooks directly onto the Altoids box. And this is the positive wire that goes inside the box and into onto the diode and into the uh, the plug-in phone jack. Okay, I'm ready to mount my. Uh, I'm ready to mount my. Altoids container, as you can see, there's little strips of um, electrician's tape along here, and that's to prevent the uh, any kind of contact from the positive wire, especially the diode. You, you, you don't want no contact with any of this metal here. Okay, now I'm going to sand the middle of it here, and that'll uh, give it a nice uh, clean surface so I can put some solder uh, onto it so I can attach the ground wire to it. Okay, we're going to take this uh, coil assembly and we're going to put the wires into these, uh, into these two holes. Okay, I'm going to solder this little uh, diode here onto the uh, positive end of the wire. That's this little, this little wire here. Okay, it's almost uh, finished now. Uh, this is. The, the plug-in phone jack. This is the diode hooked up onto the positive end of the phone jack. And this is the, the negative ground that is uh, soldered onto the Altoids container. And the purpose of the Altoids container is to is to cut down on hum. When you hook it up to an amplifier, This in this case I'll be hooking it up to a guitar amp. So I want the inside of the uh, the phone jack, particularly the diode, you want it sealed off in this kind of metal container or, or something that uh, doesn't have to be necessarily completely sealed off, but it has to be close to something like a large metal piece. And that kind of, that'll cut down on the hum. Okay, it's all done now. And as you can see, this is where the, uh, you hook up the antenna and possibly a ground if you need to do that. But this was going into a guitar amp, so I don't think I'll need a ground. The, uh, the negative um, on the negative uh, plug should be able to create a ground effect from the uh, from the plug on the uh, socket. Well, we got her hooked up now, and it's uh, it is working. It's it's picking up signals. There's uh, a lot of sideband signals right now. It's uh, probably up on the uh, 28 megahertz, uh, 10 meter band.
Okay, we got CB. As you can see, I've uh, just uh, changed the uh, the uh, the tuner coil. I added uh, another two more turns onto it to, uh, to bring down the frequencies a bit, so I can uh, so sort of bring up the sensitivity. But I can still pick up CB, and it's coming in actually pretty good. Yeah. 